Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. We are on top of a mountain in the beginning area because I went exploring since last part. Oh, oh. My Rhydon broke all its bones. I'm very sorry, my Rhydon. You guys have glowing eyes. That's I thought why not go over here since this is uh, very much one of the more beginning areas let's say but also a gym it's also a gym so maybe I'll do this part today I mean not both but you know what I mean um, these two. So, yeah, why not? I need to check the Pokemon first. Ah, yes. <laughs> Bug. Bug. This is called Tondo. It's a nice round sounding name, isn't it? Like a lovely... What? Olive. Sandwiches. Ice cream. Bread. A small bit. That that pavilion looked different based on where they're from. So I don't know where these flaws came from. Um what if in a pool? <laughs> these sweets, they sell it so very they're so good. Okay. What this? 
Place of butterflies. Oh, that's the arena. To battle. More items? Sandwiches. Okay. Let's go in there. We've come to Kotunove in the middle of our Olive Harvest Festival. The gym test here serves as a part of the festival too. is the battle maker herself, Katie. Don't let her sweet looks fool you into letting down your guy. Jay, it's me! How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously? I'm close by, hang on now, come and say hi. Yeah, hey, hey, there you are. Look at you with two gym badges already, awesome! And is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up to the challenge for sure, but like, just to be safe. You probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. There's that enthusiasm. Now let's go. Come on, a field of battle waits. Let's battle. Battle, battle. Oops. If you take on a gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, stuff like that. Those things might affect how the battle goes. You know, Jay, one look at your face and it's obvious that you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I started introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Alright? Ready. Let's have us fruitful. Let's have us a fruitful battle. I'm in the minimal now. Overcraft. Overcraft was a spook. Think of this as a practice run for your next gym battle. Come at me with everything you got. I will. With dig. The skills are sure I'll like me. The skills sure I'll like me. Call me. fire again. I'm catch yourself on the back just that my next balloon's gonna turn the tables. Will it? Hmm. 
Pokemon Center 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 Pokemon Your skills are ripening quick. They are indeed. Man, you should battle like someone with more than two gym badges. Well, that was a great battle of food for sure. Here, take these as thanks. I'll challenge you again literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. Keep on collecting badges for now. Let's battle next time we run into each other at the gym. And Jay, I hope you get even stronger, like way, way, way stronger. And once you do, you and me can just get our hearts out. Alright, time for you to pop that gym test. Thanks for this. you don't end up rolling a small of instead of the olive ball. Oh, please no. Think for an all out of ones using a pawn that's strong against bug types. Do I have one of those? I don't know, I think so. That's fine. Welcome to the court hundo drum. Let me register you as a challenger, your name is Jim. I want to face gym leader Katie. If you want first, need to pass the gym test. Here yeah, at the Cotondo gym, that means taking on the olive floor. Olive production is a big part of life in Cotondo. We felt the olive harvest festival here each year for generations to usher in bumble groups. To pass our gym test, you need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year too. Staff over at the Olive Rolling Field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location in your map. It's just to the north of town. Now get out there and have fun. <coughs> olive roll. I'm gonna roll some olive. and easily puffs. Try all of one right here. Open the roof, all of one in the field. The gym test is all about stamina. You need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get a ball over various obstacles and push it into the goal to clear the course. I have rolled in. Are you ready to start the gym test? I am. I think. Great. Put in a wish for a good olive forest and roll, roll, roll away. <laughs> Take on the olive roll challenge. Oh, what a good 
go. It's a long way and there's a short way. Pokemon battle, maybe? Uh, who knows? Let's go this way. Is it going? Oh, beat you. Yeah, I'll open up a shortcut for you if you manage to defeat me. Let's see if you can get past my wall of small life. Right past my smaller four. Okay, team small enough time to fade away. of someone being the ghost just because there it is. Mighty will blew right past me after all. Even as one of can tell how strong you are, he's step aside for you now. Oh, sorry. Hitting my mind is not on purpose ever. Oh, I see the, the net is like spider nets. That's cool. That performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great all of us next year. I'm happy to declare your dream test officially cleared. Please report your result to the lobby. Flower Bay, they can have a different color flowers. Could you check me a Flower Bay for my snom? 
Any color of flower is fine by me. Schön. Of la bibi. Where is my flower bibi? Oh, no, that's not flower bibi. There it is. We're going to check the dead flower bibi. Sending flower away to the land. Goodbye, flower. Let's get a snom. Glenson over snows a lot. <laughs> That's actually a cute name. Bombstein has been added to the Pokedex. Then it's internal origins. Eugen's slum amplifies the frigid air it gets from eating snow and then uses this amplified air to create, create icicle-like spikes. Slum. Oh, it's so small, it's so cute. The way it rides on the flower is just... Mm. Phew. Slum's really adorable too. So take good care of it, okay? Back, I hear you are on a roll out there. Hey, congratulations. Sugar bird. <laughs> sugar bug. Katie the sugar bug. Eat up my cute little woman. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive roaming. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I am the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's why I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cotonda gym right now. Forgive me. Ahem. My name's Katie, and I'm the gym leader here in Cotonda. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Chef. With sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. I'll let you guard down, unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. <laughs> Don't take my bug type on one lightning, it will be in for a world of pain if you do. Will I? Tarantula. Good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Now, my little Pokemon, turn the back to you from your cocoon and come and draw your own. Wow. 
we're training this stuff. All of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. They did. This thing feels doing our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations! You passed. This proof of your victory against me, the gym leader. Allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. With the gym badges in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 35 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. Our little tail must have bursting on this cake. These uh, attacks by pouncing on the target is also lowest to tell your speed to slow. Once you've found a TM during your travels, you can then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You didn't know that, right? No, I actually did not. I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as you could deserve. Off you go then, until we meet again. Nice. <sighs> Pardon me. Hello. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Jay, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? No, not really. Oh, my age certainly you have a rare talent, especially for your age. It'd be a shame for that talent to go to waste. Oh, but I've gotten ahead of myself. I am Jita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, an organization that runs these gyms. As they seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Till then, good time to you. I mean, at one point, I may seek to be a champion, but right now, I just seek to have fun. And especially since now there's new classes, we could go to one. Yes. Oh, wait, not up there. <laughs> it's not up there. Where am I going? I'm, I'm disoriented on on this map sometimes because it uh, changes position depending on which way you look, which is good but also not really helping me. <laughs> Oh, leg. Oh. Cider. Just too many prices. Uh, let's do biology too. You'd like biology with Mr. Jack? Cast will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. Did you all try using a ZL button to let your Pokemon out as I taught you in your own class? Walking along with your Pokemon lets you see how unique it should you are. I also highly recommend picnics for when you want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in your party. You can get them all around the table to make sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you want to learn more about making food, Mr. Sergio. So your class is the best place to go. Now, sometimes, while you're enjoying a picnic with your Pokemon, you may find something very, very important in the basket next to your table. 
It is very important something is what Pokemon are born from. Let's all say it together. Eggs? Phew, you all got it right. The very important something I'm talking about is a Pokemon egg. It's not clear where these eggs come from, but they're probably placed in a basket where there's still food leave by the Pokemon at the picnic. Walking around with an egg will help warm it, which allows it to hatch. Eggs won't warm up by sitting in boxes, though. You need to have them in your party. And here's one more support and super important thing I'd like you to remember about eggs. Pokemon and trust us with the eggs because they believe in us. So I sure would be happy to see you all being responsible parents for your Pokemon eggs. Oops, my most important point come, came right as the bell rang. Well, see you all next time, I guess. Ah, Mr. J, how kind of you to stop by. I must say I'm pleased to see you on school grounds again. Travel and adventure certainly have their place, but it is one good to attend class as well, no? Speaking of which, there's something I would very much like to ask you. I understand you've joined a very few of classes during your time here at the Academy. But if I may ask, which of your faculty members has made the most favorable impression on you? Uh, actually, um, was that was that the I teacher? Yes. Oh, Mr. Mahasso from art classes, I guess. He is a fine teacher, a most passionate and enthusiastic fellow. We are truly blessed to have so many wonderful teachers and staff members at the Euro Academy. I firmly believe that our fa fossil, fossil, faculty <laughs> excuse me, is second to none in their commitment to us than students' ongoing <laughs> education and well-being, some education that I did not have, because I apparently I can't speak English. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Mr. J. Can we close with Director Kala? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the entrance hall and say goodbye. For this point, thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Why do I look so tired? <laughs>